Hey everybody, it's Martha. This is better late than ever. <laughs> um, so, welcome to my Shabby Craft Studio. Hope you pull up something to drink, something to play with, and we're going to get going right off the bat because I don't know how long this is going to take me. So I've already done some playing with the CD sleeves and um, of course they they come white and I have tea dyed all of mine. Well, I didn't, my husband did. I'm lucky cause he's good at it. Um, <laughs> and so um, this was the first one that I made that I couldn't find in the last video that I was looking all over for. Uh, so what I did was I stamped with archival ink and I made a little journaling card to go in it. Now, that being said, um, this is an idea that I saw on Facebook and I believe her name is, did somebody say paper? And I snagged the idea from her because I had ordered some CD sleeves. It was sort of at a loss as to, you know, something different to do with them. I know, um, Others have done a lot of things with CD sleeves, and I need to go back and check, like, Wendy's Journal Adventures and Gina from the Firefly Studio 67, because I believe they've both done projects with CD sleeves. And I know whenever I saw them, I was like, hey, <laughs> I want to do that, but, you know, didn't save the videos. Um, and even when I save videos, I tend... Tell me, tell me you do this too, please. <laughs> I tend not to go look at them. <laughs> kind of like Pinterest. I pin all these things on boards and I don't go back and look at the boards. So, um, anywho's, when I used the archival ink, it will not stick to the plastic of the CD sleeve. Um, but I like the way it came out. Now, um, I did go buy the stays on ink, which is what was recommended by the video, and I will link that video below. So I got the black stays on. Um, but the black is pretty bold. And so I've you'll see lots of different things here. So this was the first one I did with archival ink. Okay, and then I got the stays on and I used it on these four here. So not that one. So I did this one and I kind of like it. It's not bad. It's not too, um, not too busy. I don't think I used different, the different floral stamps. This one I did not tear the flap off of because I don't know how I'm going to put them in my journals yet. And I didn't want to tear all the flaps off and just make pockets out of them. Um, what I'm thinking is these could actually, you know, be attached to something else sewn into the journals and you know open that way maybe so this is just some cardstock that i had left over in a paper pad i'm trying to use up things so i got lazy and i just <laughs> did that <laughs> so um yeah i mean i just inked the back of the paper pad and i cut out the part i wanted and i think it looks very pretty in this in this window so there's that one, and then I did this one, and this one goes, opens this way, and this was, I believe, a Tim Holtz paper pad. Um, I think this was the 8x8 paper pad that I pulled out the other day, and I think it's a Tim Holtz paper pad. Pretty 98% sure it is. And this is how the ink comes out on the, um, from the art, from the stays on ink. Okay, so it does dry almost immediately. It does stay on, it does not rub off. All the other inks I tried, um, as you'll see in the video that I, that I um, put in the description box below, the other inks do come off even if you let them dry for days and days. And of course you can't use a heat gun because you will melt. <laughs> so I do like that. Um, so that one goes in there. And again, it's just a piece of cardstock that I inked. And I think it makes a great journaling spot and a quick and easy pocket. This one I got a little carried away on. So I'll take the card inside out because um, it's hard to see with the pattern behind it. 
I don't know. There's a part of me that likes it and a part of me that knows that I went overboard on this area. But this is a... Uh, that's not it. Let me pull the stamp out. Bear with me. <laughs> this stamp is... Um, it's from Stampendous, stampendous.com, and I got it from Tuesday morning, of course. Alrighty, and it might or might not come out at this point, because, you know, these packages are worthless, and I don't know why I bother putting them back in, but that's how I know where they came from. So it's this stamp here, and I thought this would be a really good stamp for on here, and I do like it. But I wish I had um, put a mask or something down here and not done it in as far to the window as I did. And all this was too much extra. <laughs> that was from another, the one of the only, I think I have two swirl stamps. And, um, I, and I added a flower stamp and that was too much. It was too much. Now, if I'd done it with just the flower stamp, a few flower stamps around here, I think it would have looked nice. So... Um, that's those. And I pulled out a ton of stamps. I have stamps over there. I have stamps over there. And I have stamps over there. <laughs> I have stamps right here. So yeah, stamps are everywhere. So that's that one. And again, I just uh, used one of my, that's part of the 12 by 12 paper that's in some of these other envelopes. And I'm trying to move this along so we can play. This one I did very simple. Um, and I'll probably add more to it. I, I just wanted to try these at first. Now, the one thing I will say is, I don't know if you can see how dark this ink is here. And yet here it like came out lighter and absorbed into the paper. So it does show up a lot darker on the plastic. Um, so you ha with a, especially with a brand new ink pad, you have to be really careful. Like I had to ink the stamp and stamp it off several times. You, you can see, you're going to see my mess here. Um, so there was that. Then I decided to do some other styles. And this one I just used um, archival ink. I have these little, I have these little archival inks. So I just used that. I used a green and again I just I did a little decoupage but I didn't plan well and this flower was supposed to be down here and this is a sticker and again it's just a piece of cardstock that came in a paper pad and I cut it down to fit and did a simple collage with two stick-on flowers well one was a stick-on one was a that's a cutout flower but if I planned better this flower would have been down here where it belongs yeah um, this one again is with colored archival inks and I really like the way it came out. And again, there's just a, a card stock in there. As I said, I was lazy. This one is just a couple of, um, you know, flower stamps. And I will say that I messed up here cause I forgot to put anything under it. You can use a book, um, you, you know, book pages, you can use a pile of paper towels if you use paper towels and they're dry and flat they have to be flat you can't have any bumpy pieces in there like several pieces of paper towel or you can use a foam sheet which i have one around here somewhere but again um the spirits have come and taken it away and i can't find it so i did use a book to stamp on and that helped um, because you have unlevel surfaces here, whether you're using the stays on and stamping onto the cellophane or not, if you're going to have a different surface, the, this broke up here because I didn't have a soft surface underneath it. Um, so, and then I decided to do this one. I used the same stamp, but I used different ink. Um, I just used the archival coffee ink and I wanted it to be more subtle, and then I put the two butterflies on, and then I put some bling. You see the blingy? Shiny, shiny, blingy. So, and I did use um, art glitter glue. I didn't get the antenna real well, but these are sticking down to the cellophane with the art glitter glue. Um, I'm not sure I'd use acetate glue on this because I have a feeling, now I, I haven't tested it, but it might melt the plastic. I don't know. Acetate glue can be really weird. 
I can't see because of the glare. Ooh, that's a lot of glue. Okay. And we'll get we'll get these antennae sticking down. So I hope you are well. I hope this finds everybody um, doing okay and um, not in the way of the fires and the storm coming up through the Gulf Coast and all the other disasters that are happening in this country at the moment. So um, I do hope you, you are safe and well and okay, no matter where you are in the world. Um, and if you're not, please please speak to someone or ask for help. Don't, don't try and suffer through things on your own. All right, so um, I will do one with the stays on. We'll, we'll play with that a little bit. And then we'll, we're going to branch out because I have some autumnal napkins. And I think these designs are small enough. Maybe I can get these on here. And we're going to see how decoupage does. Because I haven't done that yet on these. And I am building my stash. And not my mustache. My, my, my junk journaling stash. <laughs> yeah. At my age, you, you'll get that joke. Okay. Cheers. It's already later in the afternoon than I should be drinking that. So um, we're going to work on this and we're going to get moving. So I took up way too much time with that. Alrighty. So I think I want a little bit of uh, background stamping, but I'm not sure what I want. I got this out of one of the stamping magazines and I absolutely love it. And it went hiding for a while. Um, but I don't know that I want, I don't know that's what I want though. Uh, see, what else? What else could I use? Maybe I'll try this in the background. Let's see what we're going to do here. I don't know. I didn't come with a plan. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, this isn't going to be the background because this is going to be for, um, this isn't going to be the napkin one. This is going to be the stays on one, Martha. So stay with the plan here. Alrighty. So if you hear some noise, um, I have my, I gotta get my, my big, big guns out. I have my, um, doors and windows open today. It's a little bit, um, overcast. It's a little bit, uh, breezy. It's a little bit, I don't want to mush the glue down because it really does come out quite dark. Ugh. I don't love the smell of stays on, but this one doesn't smell as bad as my last one did. Ooh. I think I actually threw that one away because it smelled so bad. Whoops. All right. Now I want this on a bit of a curve, but I don't want it too far in. And I'm not going to press really hard, except there. And see, I didn't put my book underneath, and I should have. So hopefully, there. Now, I wouldn't rub my fingers on it right this second, but that's going to dry pretty quick. Like, if I set this aside and I do the next one and the next one, by then it'll be dry. Um, so let's see, what else can I... And you see how the ink... This is where the paper was, right? This is where the paper was, where the ink disappeared. And there's still ink on the cellophane, so whatever this is. I call it cellophane cover. But yet, look how dark it came out on that plastic. So we'll just call it plastic. <laughs> Good idea, Martha, because that's pretty much what it is. So that's where I just take this and I just stamp it off. And a whole lot comes off. So... And I try to keep my, my stamps fairly, fairly, notice I said fairly, uh, clean. So I like that. And I think, actually, I don't think I'm done with that one yet. I might try. Come on, Martha. You can do it. I like these um, thistle. I think they're thistles, aren't they? I like that one. And I think, let me see how that would look. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that on the other side. So again, I'm not going to, you know, 
go too nuts. I'm not, it's a, it's a new juicy ink pad. And I want it to show up evenly, but I don't want it to be, you know, so wet that it won't eventually dry on this plastic, which it will because it stays on. But you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> right, right. Well, that's going to be a little more crooked than I wanted, but that's okay. And again, see the, where the black is still on the ink, I mean, on the stamp? That's where it was on the plastic. And it does come out a little dark and a little, mm, not smudged, but you, you do have to be careful. Now, I don't have any other colors of stays on, so I don't know, um, you know, how it would come out. But I may consider getting some other colors of stays on uh, and give it a try. Because I do like the ones that I did in color. And I don't use my stamps enough, so if you don't use your stamps enough, this is a good time to pull them out. I don't think I'm going to do this right. Okay. So I'm going to put this back in here. Oh, that would be a good one to try too. Okay. Let's let's play with this as well. I like this stamp too. And these sort of remind me of fall too, like the harvest wheat and thistles. When I was young, this is, this is a story I've been telling a lot lately. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I need a smaller block. That big block is so big, it's too big for my hands. Um, when I was young, when I was in sixth grade, we had an art project we were going to do. We were going to weave um, straw mats. And we were to collect things, plants and stuff, to um, put in the center of the straw mat. My sixth grade teacher was pretty cool. Um, we got to do a lot of art projects that I didn't get to do years after that, but um, even in art class in high school. But my sixth grade teacher was like probably... If I knew her now as an adult, we'd be soulmates. Um, I learned to batik on fabric. Um, and I learned how to weave straw mats. And I can't even remember anything else. I think I'm going to make this one this way. And so anyway. Um, uh, see, I didn't put the book underneath. And you have different levels of... The plastic is thinner and flatter. Oh, well. All right. Well, there's that one. Let me show you what it looks like with a book underneath. <laughs> or a foam. I have a foam pad. I do. I swear I do. And I swear by using it. Look at that. There it is. Right there in my tray where I put it. Oh, Martha. Okay. I'm going to do another one. Um. So... Anyway, um, in order to get the things for the mat, I lived in New York State in Rochester at the time. And my dad, I, I begged him to take me out. And we went down to Long Pond, which was the name of the area, but uh, it was actually a pond <laughs> on Long Pond Road <laughs> because it was a very long pond. And... Um, he and I both, of course, he had longer arms and everything because I was, I was pretty small in school. Well, that came out somewhat better. Okay. So, um, we had to climb down and we got thistle and we got cattails before the cattails open up, burst open and spread everywhere. Um, and everybody told me that the, the cattails wouldn't work because they would open up and burst and, and explode everywhere. But we spray painted them gold. I don't know what my dad used, but we spray painted them gold. And um, those thistles and those cattails, and I can't remember what else I put in there. I remember the thistles and the, the cattails. So every time I drive by like a wet area, and there are cattails and thistles. I think about that story. 
especially this time of year. So anyway, um, now, <laughs> putting the mat back, I'm going to put this back. Nope, that's not the way it goes. Okay, and so um, that mat lasted years and years and years until my mom, my dad passed away and my mom moved and, and it sat in the attic and it still never fell apart or exploded or anything else. It, it lasted. <laughs> All right, so we have these three and that is dry now. So if I turn this over and I press that against there, nothing comes up. That's, that's on there. I wouldn't rub real hard right away, but that's on there. It didn't smudge. So, um, yeah. So we can make cards for those. These two I'm going to let dry a little bit more. I, I just try not to tempt fate. Um, so, yeah. There's that. Because, <laughs> you know, when you tempt fate, sometimes fate bites back. So, something else I haven't done yet. And... I think, um, I'm wondering, no, I'm not sure that would look right. I'm going to put a little bit of print behind here, just using my archival coffee. Now this stamp, I cannot get off the plastic it came on. I just, like, literally, I can't get it off. So I just am stamping it around. And I know it's going to come off the cellophane. That's okay. It's all right. All right. So, pop, pop, sure. Pop that back up there. And I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to wipe this off so it doesn't like make a mess because it's not going to dry on there. It'll just sit on the surface. All right, let's see. I don't I don't know if I can even get any of these on there. I don't know. But I can tear them out. I mean, you've seen me tear, tear this napkin before in other projects. All right, well, we're going to give it a go. What do you think about that? What do you think about them apples? So have you tried any of the projects that um, I've been doing the last couple of weeks? I am having a blast because I am uh, building my stash. Um, I'm using the, the Ranger Distress Collage Medium Matte. And um, I love this stuff, in case you haven't heard me say it a thousand times before. I do love this stuff. Now, I want this to hang over there. And yeah, I could have torn it a little more around the napkin, but I didn't want to because I want to see how it blends in or doesn't <laughs> on the paper and on the plastic here. Now, the reason I'm wiping it off is because I went a little... A little past the napkin part. So we're going to see if that sticks. I mean, if it doesn't, I'll know. And I've only wasted one one little, you know, CD sleeve. And that's okay. If you don't experiment, you'll never know. Like, I am so guilty of going on to Facebook pages or other places and saying... Hey, do you know how to blah, blah, blah? Or have you ever tried blah, blah, blah? Well, try it. If if you haven't tried it and you want to know what you think it's going to do, or or you want to know what it's going to do, just try it. It's just, it's just as my friend Carol says, it's just paper. <laughs> okay. So you guys, I watched a very interesting video by our friend Angela. Hi Ange. Toma at Dogwood Paper Arts. And she did something I had not seen done before. Um, I don't think any of the people that I watch on YouTube 
in journal making have done this particular thing before, but she did a beautiful job putting um, a, I'm trying to figure out how to get to this leaf. <laughs> it's in the middle of the paper, which, you know, it figures, right? And I'm just fussy tearing around here. She did a beautiful job at putting a book together and um, doing the binding and the cover and the inside papers. Of, I mean, she made it a real book and she made it out of um, scrapbook papers and it's gorgeous, just gorgeous. And I will link that video below as well. I, like I said, I've never seen it done before and I thought it was just beautiful. Now, do I want that down there? Do I want it hanging over? I do. I think I want it hanging over. I'm going to take just this itty bitty more part of this white stuff off. Just because that's the stuff that's going to be on, on the plastic. And the, the white stuff isn't really blending into the plastic like it does into paper. And I'm going to do it just like that. Now I have my fan going, my ceiling fan, so I'm hoping it doesn't blow it away. Because, <laughs> you know, that's the risk you take. And I always put my matte medium underneath first. Now you could use wet glue for this, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go too wet. And that's why I like this matte medium. It spreads really easily, but it's not extremely wet. And it does not wrinkle like like glue with water would wrinkle. If you have the money and you want to try it, it's a very small jar. It's not cheap. I do believe you can get it on Amazon. And oh, by the way, I decided not to do the Amazon affiliate thing. So if I link something, I don't make anything off of it. I'm just letting you know. Um... Let's see, what else do I want? What else would I like? I don't know. I think I'll just put more leaves on there because I think one bird was enough. Maybe this branch. I should have saved the branch for the top, but that's okay. There's more envelopes where these came from. But I do like this um, this gel matte medium a lot. I know I've said it before. <laughs> and I'll probably say it all again many, many times. Oop. Oh, well, that branch got ripped off. Okay. So the golfers are out. I don't know if you can hear the golfers on the golf course. The golf carts rolling on by when they hit the ball it goes tink and there's a beautiful beautiful breeze it's not it rained this morning but it's not overly humid it didn't even really rain like i think it sprinkled nope that's gonna have to go on another one well you know now it's all torn out okay let's just take this guy here I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I don't know why I hold everything so close to me when I'm doing it. So I've been having trouble with my iPad. Like it burns battery really, really fast. And I've, ooh, I've turned off everything that could possibly be running in the background, but I am burning through battery and it's an older iPad and I have a feeling I'm gonna blame Apple. <laughs> Because, you know, at one point they, with the iPhone 6s, they slowed everything down and they made it so that you were burning through battery and you couldn't stop it. And this is an iPad Air 2, so it is older. And I think it's all Apple's fault. That's what I think. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to try this here. Yes, I am. Yes, I Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm going to try. Okay. 
So I don't know what's going on, but if my if my iPad dies, I am so <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> it's not the word I was going to use, but I don't want to offend anybody. I am so messed up. I will be so messed up. I cannot. I, I need a new computer, and I can't afford an i iPad and a computer. And if I have to make a choice, uh, it's probably going to be the iPad because I do. I spend way many, way more hours on it than I should, but it keeps me sane. And it's also the device we use as our GPS when we're traveling. That's not bad. I like that. And I, I think this medium is going to hold. So there's something about that. That's good. That's good, good, good. Okay. And then, of course, you can stamp like um, I did with the other things. Or you can decorate whatever way you want to. Right? Don't stick this in my tea. <laughs> Don't. The tea and the brush water are right. The brush water is sitting right behind the tea. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Like right next to each other. I should not be having caffeine this early in the morning. No, I mean, this late in the afternoon. Oy. So, the reason that I sound a little, um, bleh, <laughs> you know, like that, is because my dear little white fluffy dog who is in kidney failure woke me up at 4, four o'clock this morning to go outside and go potty, bless her little heart. And oh my goodness, when she's got to go, it's like, I don't know about you guys, but when I wake up from a sound sleep, <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I have to go. I had a full bladder myself, so I had to go to the bathroom and um, she was running back and forth. She was frantic, frantic. And of course, that makes it worse because you can't like you just can't move fast enough. And I felt awful, but I would have stood outside and I would have wet myself if I had let her out immediately. So I got up, I used the bathroom, I looked for my leggings, which I every night I've been setting my leggings out and a long sleeve shirt out. Do you think I did that last night? Nope. Did not do that last night at all. So, um, yeah. Hmm, I don't want to get rid of the wings, so we're going to put that there. Hmm, and I love this napkin. Guess where I got it? <laughs> One guess, people. One guess. <laughs> the store I can no longer go to. Okay. Um. Yeah, so um, where was I? So 4 o'clock this morning... She went outside, she pottied, she, she had to do both things. Hmm, I think I'm going to shrink this down. And so we're out there and she's, you know, trying to find a place to go and she's doing her thing. And I'm standing out there in shorts in my, my night shirt. I just wear the tops of pajamas and and my underwear. <laughs> TMI, I know. <laughs> Hello, get to know Martha. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this part. I'm, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm going to put these two on because that I'm feeling. Oh, I should have not put my brush back in the, in the water. In the water. Okay. Can, I, you know, I bet you figured you'd see me decoupaging napkins again sometime, huh? Since it's like one of my favorite things to do to decorate. Talk about fast and easy. <laughs> it's only slightly less fast and easy than just chopping up a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock that's pretty and just plopping it in <laughs> as a journaling card. <laughs> I should have called my, my channel the Lazy Crafter. Ah, lazy and frugal. 
Of course, there's already a frugal crafter, so. Who is very talented, by the way. So, let's see. Can I do this? Maybe? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, so she she went outside, went potty. I got her out there before she had an accident. And she was a good girl. And then we came back in. And I tried to go back to sleep. And it was 5 o'clock. And I looked at the clock and I said, Well, the other dog usually, like for the last, I don't know, five mornings... <laughs> The other dog has been waking me up at 5.17 a.m. on the nose every day to go outside. He did not wake up to go with us when we went out at 4 o'clock in the morning. So I thought, well, you know, 10 minutes, he's gonna, it was 5.07. Exactly 5.07 when I looked at the clock. And I thought, well, he's going to be next. He's going to wake me up and want to go out. And he didn't. I was, I was shocked. <laughs> Absolutely shocked. I think I'm just going to put... Maybe I'll just do this. I think I'm just going to do that. So, um, next thing I knew it was, um, I think, like 6.15, 6 6.10 or 6.15. So, I must have fallen asleep between the 507 and 615 part and next thing I knew uh, Tony was letting the dogs out so I was grateful for that so yeah it, it's um, it's gonna be a rocky road with with Gabby because um, there's no telling what's going to happen when. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I should have stamped it with background. I might go back and stamp with um, with my text stamp. But I got to wait for the matte medium to dry. So they're coming out pretty. I like them. This one's got little teensy edges sticking up. Got it. Okay. So I think this is what I was going to do. And then I looked over and saw the napkin I hadn't used, and I wanted to do that. Okay. So I printed some stuff off a of graphics fairy this morning. Just, just what I did was um, I have a graphics fairy um, membership, and I just took some of the PNGs, and I put them into a Word document, and I sized them the way I wanted them. And so I now have the, now some of them, I didn't do that. These two pages, I did that, uh, three pages. These three pages, I did that. And so um, this one, I did not, I lied. <laughs> Back up. These two pages, I did that. So I took the PNGs, put them in a Word document, and there's a couple of YouTube tutorials out there about how to do that. Um, and I sized them the way I wanted them. And then I um, did these. I printed them from Windows, and I just told it to do them wallet size. This was four to a page, so they're way too big. I had no idea these would come out that big. And same there. This was uh, wallet size two, I believe. Or, yeah, I think that was wallet size because there's nothing down here. So this one was a PDF, so I shrunk it 50% and it came out really tiny. These were PDFs and I couldn't figure out, other than to shrink them, I couldn't figure out how to get multiples on a page. So I don't know everything, that's for sure. And then these I just shrunk because they were PDFs. I shrunk them as well. And I think I did these 75%. No, I probably did that 75% and this 50%. So anywho, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So I don't know. 
Let me see. I kind of like this picture here. But that could go inside. That would be really pretty on the inside, wouldn't it? I might try this guy. Maybe we'll try this guy. Okay. And what I'm going to do is the part, well, it doesn't really matter because it's white paper. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to tell you the, the tearing trick, but you guys all know it anyway. And it's on white paper, so it's going to be white anyway. A dumb, dumb mistake. Now, this is on 24-pound uh, paper, and I meant to print them all on copy, just 20-pound copy paper. Yeah. Didn't happen. So now I'm getting warm. <sighs> but that's okay. When I'm done with this, I maybe I'll fussy cut it. Maybe that's what we'll do. Bear with me, please. Um, when I'm done with this, before I started, I took my frozen fruit out and put it in my blender cup. Oh, here's a question for you guys. What blenders do you guys make your smoothies in? If um, if you make smoothies, <laughs> what blender do you use? Because uh, I have a <laughs> magic bullet. I knew I was going to. It would come to me eventually. I have a magic bullet. And um, oh my gosh, the thing... The date on the manufacturer date, I think, is 2008. That thing's old, and it's been it's been used and abused. But I have to let my fruit fruit thaw, and I like it when the fruit's frozen because it makes it more like ice and it makes it um, like thicker and icier. But I have to let my fruit thaw at least like 50 percent, because because um, the blender just can't handle it. So I don't want, I can't afford a Vitamix. So don't even mention that, please. I, I can't afford it. And I don't use it that much. Like I only just started making smoothies again. So I get on a kick, you know, for two, three months. And then it's going to get cold and I'm not going to want. <laughs> I'm not going to want to have a cold smoothie in the winter um, so it probably won't continue but it is a good way for me to get fruit and it's not my fetish of ice cream it's healthier for me because I use yogurt I use heavy cream which probably isn't best for me but it's what I sort of use to liquefy it here and um, Oh, I think he's going to look pretty. Ooh, that's going to look good right there. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to... Um, background. Background stamp. So, I've been looking at the Nutribullet, but it there's different ones. <laughs> so, of course, Martha got overwhelmed and confused and stopped looking. Because that's what Martha does. So, yeah. Um, so if you have a blender recommendation, can you tell me, like, which model it is? Like, if it's Nutribullet, they come with different wattage sizes. Like, some are 750, some are 1,000 or 1,100. I don't know, something like that. Okay. So I think that adds, there's a gnat flying around here. Sorry. <laughs> hope, hope I didn't just blind you. Oh, that's going to be neat. I think that's all I'm putting on there. I don't know. Maybe down the road I'll think, oh, this needs that or that on it. But I like the owl just sort of sitting. He almost looks 3D. So, uh, yeah. Um... Now, I'm back to the art glitter glue. I could have used the matte medium, but I think the art glitter glue is going to do okay as long as I get all his little, his little bits. 
glued it down well. Oh, now he's stuck to the paper. Alrighty. So, if you have a blender that you really like, please leave a comment as to which one. I don't want to use that. It's wet. I was wiping my wet brush off on it. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Oh, he's pretty on there. He is. He is. You're so pretty. That's a good owl. Now, I could put mushrooms on there. You think mushrooms would be too much? So, well, I have these. These are smaller, maybe? I think the mushrooms would be too much. Maybe too big. I don't want to ruin it. I like him alone. Could make the card to go in him, though. So I could do this. Or this. Ooh, then it would look like... Never mind. <laughs> I won't go there. <laughs> oh, that's bad, Martha. Oh, you're so naughty. Oh, my goodness. I'm a bad girl. Okay. Alrighty. I am looking for... A piece of cardstock. And I've been using a lot of cardstock, so. Ooh. I don't have to cut that down much. So yesterday I was outside, and I hope my head hasn't been in here the whole time. Woo! Hi. <laughs> um, I was outside, back and forth on the deck, and I was tea staining some cardstock and it was going well I was doing some white cardstock um, which I haven't done in a while and I used my plastic doilies on it and it was coming out pretty well uh, and it dried pretty quick because yesterday was quite a warm day and I thought today was going to be the same and like I said a little while ago, nope, not so much. <laughs> it wasn't the uh oh uh oh. It was not the same at all. Got up to a weather alert saying it was gonna rain and it sprinkled a little and it's been overcast most of the day. So uh but I think tomorrow, <laughs> at least what I saw today on the weather app. I think tomorrow is supposed to be another sunny day. And we're supposed to have some quite cool days coming up, but the sun is still quite hot this time of year. And in the afternoons from, well, actually from about mid-morning on, we have the sun on our deck. Now during the summer, of course, it comes up over there. I'm pointing where the sun comes up and goes down over there. And it's higher in the sky. In the fall, of course, it drops a little. And in the winter, it's like... <laughs> so, um, yeah. Now I'm inking this. Don't even know if it fits. Didn't even check. <sighs> Sometimes I wear myself out. And that's how I make something look tea-stained, even though it's not. <laughs> it doesn't have the texture of tea-stained, which is what everybody loves, of course. Where's my owl? So I think this will fit in perfectly that way. Oh, he's going to look so nice on there. <gasps> All right. Why am I having a hard time? Okay. Yep, perfect. Okay. So I want it to go this way. Orientation's important if you only have one one direction. Now, see, that's not big enough. Dang it. Darn. <gasps> Look. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's see. Am I fussy or am I tearing? I'll tear first. If I don't like it, I'll fussy. How about that? So, um... 
Come on. Now, if you don't belong to um, Graphics Fairy, or if you do and you don't know this, if you download the PNG images, they come without a background. I mean, some of them might have a background in them. Let me, let me clarify this. <laughs> if you were to take this image and put it on a digital sheet, whether it be in Word, whether it be in Photoshop Elements, um, or other programs like that, I think Paint, which I can't seem to get to have on my computer because my computer's so old, um, and other programs. Basically, it's like having a slide. It, it sits on, I wish I had done this on lighter paper, um, it sits on the top and the image is like on a clear slide, sort of. So, if you drop, if I dropped this image onto a background that was this color in my computer, you wouldn't see the white back here like you see it on this. It wouldn't be like we're putting a white piece of paper on. I like that. What am I going to put in the background? Um, so yeah, so I love PNG images for that. And it's very useful as far as that's concerned. I don't have a whole lot. I think I'm just going to go with my text again. I have another one, text one in there somewhere. I wish I had a big... Oh, maybe I do. Hold that thought. I need to run over to my stamp box. Hold for me one moment. My room is very small. Oh, I do. Perfect. I forgot about this one. This is... I cannot read it. Isn't that terrible? And I don't have my reading glasses in here. That's what it says. Can you read it? Probably not. I'll hold it there for a minute. I'll figure out what it is and put it below if you're interested. So I just want this to be very light background. I did say it goes this way, right? <laughs> Anybody's guess. Yay! I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Now we're going to... Excuse my arm. I, I have so much stuff crammed around me at this point. I can't even move. Now what I might do is the next time I print these out, I might do them either on tissue, not tissue. Back up, Martha. Um, tracing paper or on cream colored printer paper. And I get my, I don't know if it's called cream colored. I call it cream colored. Um, but I get cardstock and printing paper, copy paper, at Staples. Okay. Just trying to cut the white a little bit here. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Put it back where it belongs, Martha. Now, this, I think I'm going to do a glue stick because it's a big surface. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Hold that thought. Sorry for reaching in front of the camera. All the envelopes were getting ready to take a big dive. 
It's not a good kind either. Oh. This video is probably a mess, and I apologize. I am really not um, not handling the whole Gabby thing well. But that's all I'm going to say about it. I'm not going to not going to dwell. It is what it is. Everybody's got their stuff that they're dealing with. So I don't want to be a whiner. Just want to play in my craft room and have you all come along for the ride. Join me. Look how pretty. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. I hope it shows up through the window. <laughs> because I just, I just thought about that and didn't even try it. Now I got to find my owl. When all these almost took a dive off the back, I just grabbed them. There he is. Oh, I think that's going to show up. I'm scared to stick it in there because I don't want it to stick. And I think I'm going to put this. these little tabs. Oh my gosh, what a pain in the patootie. <laughs> I think I'm going to put... Oh, look! Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. One cutout design and one membership, both from the membership of uh, Graphics Fairy. The Graphics Fairy. So if you've been debating on whether you want to, you know, get the Graphics Fairy or not, hey, I say go for it. For what you pay for a year, dozens and dozens and dozens of um, fun images that you can print out. Lots and lots of uh, designs to choose from. And I like this because it looks like wood. I don't like it so much because it looks blue. How about this one? No, oh, that's blue too. And I've been cutting these out in different shapes. Look at this. It looks like an arrowhead. That might look cute on there. That might be okay. I'm mumbling. Sorry. I'm mumbling. I'm thinking to myself. I also have that in a big one. With a little one caught inside of it. Nope, don't like the big one. Oh, this might be pretty too. <laughs> if I could just get my fingers to work. Yep, that's the one. So what I did with these is I took my oval punch and punched it out and then took my little tiny circle punch and punched that out too. If you need to see how that's done, let me know. Uh-oh, I found another one I like. This one has green on it. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, they look like little arrowheads. And I thought those were cute. Okay. And I ink the inside edges because, you know, the little white edges, sometimes they show after you punch them out. I'm supposed to be doing this on here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Martha's not too out of it, right? Try to put the cap on upside down. Well, at least I tried to put the cap on. Okay. Oh, I think my air conditioner just turned on. <laughs> Time to close the windows because the air conditioner set at 74. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? I hope you think it's pretty like I think it's pretty. And then that's instant journaling card, right? And then if you put washi across that stupid tab right there. Oh, dear. And then what I do, yes, that sticks up over the, the fold of the flap. If I want to keep my flap, I just fold it up at a different point. And yes, you see the crease. Who cares? It's a junk journal. A handmade journal. All right, you guys. I am very pleased with everything I did. You can go around the edges. Kind of looks like a moon. It looks like the owl sitting in a moon. <gasps> Doesn't it? Oh, I might have to make more of these. All right, so we are at, holy cow, 59 minutes and 55 seconds. So this is what we did. 
get rid of that busyness. We did some of these with the stays on, and that's completely dry now. Did that one, and we did that one, and that is completely dry, and it's sticking to the plastic as well. We did that one, and again, completely dry. And then we did that one with the napkins, and these are the other ones that I did. So I'm going to keep working on these and go close all my windows <laughs> since my air turned on and go make my fruit smoothie and play with these some more. And then at some point I will show you in the future what I've done. And I um, went to Hobby Lobby. Hey, Robin, look what I got. <laughs> and guess what's going to happen with that tomorrow when the sun is shining and I can get tea out on the deck. It's getting tea dyed. So I bought this as well. This was all, of course, where did I buy this? Joanne's. No, Hobby Lobby. Uh, so I bought some of this and Tim Holtz wasn't even on sale, but I bought it. And I bought, what's that say? Uh-huh. More paper bags. And guess what I'm going to do? Keep watching. I'll be back. And you're going to find out. So have yourself a great day. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Love you all. Happy crafting. Stay well. Be happy. Find your happy spot and go for it. And if you're stuck, just start making something. Pull out a paper pad, make cards, belly bands, whatever. See how many things you can make out of the pages. Get out your napkins if you haven't decoupaged in a while. Order some CD sleeves. <laughs> Have some fun. And I'll talk to you all the next time. Not sure if I'm going to keep up with the Sunday snippets, make it Monday, what's up Wednesday, and finish it Friday. But I'm going to make videos as often as I can and invite you along. I hope you keep watching. Take care, everybody. Bye.